With IAC, we're trying to understand how to convert biological feedstocks into actual fuels that you can put in your car. Because biomass is renewable and is grown right here in the U.S., it holds great potential for decreasing our dependence on foreign sources of crude oil. Nowadays, they think of just ethanol derived from uh, the kernels of corn. But biomass is a wide-ranging material, such as wood chips, grasses, and agricultural wastes, which are not currently being converted into fuels, but have a lot of potential. Biomass is too oxygenated, so it contains a lot of water that's chemically bonded. So we're trying to develop a catalyst that will get rid of those water so that we can use biomass as a fuel. One of the primary roles of catalysts in biomass conversion is to steer the chemistry so that we get much more of the products that we want as compared to the products that we don't want. This is what we call selectivity in catalysis. The overall mission of IACT is to develop catalysts that are able to produce chemical reactions with the same selectivity and efficiency as nature's catalysts, namely enzymes. Because sometimes some catalysis, they are not good, but we don't know why they are not good. We have to catch them while they are in the reaction. And the characterization information can provide some very important guideline for the synthesis. My role in IACT is to synthesize catalysts that get used um, later down the road for characterization and to be used um, for actual catalysis. Making use of the technology of uh, atomic layer deposition and also of porous uh, material synthesis, um, we can make structures and compositions that, as far as I know, have never been made before. What we do here is do computational modeling and calculations of those catalysts and tell the experimentalist uh, what the reaction mechanism is and how does the catalyst work and what kind of material will be good for uh, better selectivity or activity of the catalyst. My main role is to kind of verify either the experimental models that the computational people come up with or to kind of test the performance of the catalyst and make sure that they're doing what the, the people who've designed them think they're going to. The entire program is a constant feed forward and feed backwards, uh, give and take between the scientists and the four subtasks, helping us to uh, provide a more complete understanding and a work plan for solving the catalytic problem of biomass processing. The goal of IACT is to create new routes and new energy opportunities, especially uh, looking at converting biomass into usable fuels. We're targeting the ability to make use of energy resources that we currently don't fully utilize as well as we could. And one of the most important of these is biomass, simply because it's a renewable resource. All we have to do is to allow plants to grow and they can provide us with an energy resource that is continually replenished uh, over and over again. We're working on a very fundamental right level right now, but the more we discover about these reactions, the more effective catalysts we can develop. And then from there what that does is it allows us to, to, to run these reactions in the most efficient way possible. So not only does it, it give us higher yields and reduce the amount of waste, but if all these things uh, get to their, their maximum level, then we drive down the capital and, and operational costs just because of the, the efficiency levels of these things. With IAC, we hope to uh, change the landscape by which uh, we process biomaterials and hopefully uh, make uh, those more compatible with uh, the energy needs of the U.S. in the future. Thank you.